And it is Sunday morning, and they are, the guys are supposed to be here at 7 o'clock, and it's about quarter till right now, so I wanted to get in here and get a video real quick, because uh, these guys are professional, and they are on time, which we really appreciate. Um, so this is what you saw if you watched the last vlog. Um, this is how uh, they left the room, and today they are going to be tearing out um, the rest of the walls, basically. Um, this is the wall that the cabinets were on. I'll get back here so I can get a big view. This is the wall that the cabinets were on. They're going to tear out these walls and the one that the chimney was on. And they're going to leave this open for us for the week because we have an electrician coming in and he needs access to the room to run uh, new plugs for us. And then here's this wall. So I'll be checking in today and showing you what's going on. Here's the room. It is about, it's right at 10 o'clock. So uh, the guys are taking a break. Um, is that where they went to take a break? Yeah, go into the okay, so here's the, where the stove sat. So just to give you a point of reference. And here's where the sink was. The chimney was up there. The chimney was there. So the sink, one sink, uh, the sink was here and then the other cabinet was here. Um, <clears throat> but they gave us some news about uh, this door uh, apparently it had some pre-existing problems um, so I'm gonna let Kevin tell us what they told us and I'm gonna get closer so that you can see and so that maybe you can understand what he's saying um, okay. um, you can see the board up there well maybe you can see it I think you can um, yeah. it's it's got termite damage really really bad there's a beam that runs there's two two by fours right here speak up sorry i am speaking up there's two two by fours right there that are termite damage really bad there's a beam in the corner very very corner that's kind of bad up there but it's really bad down at the bottom so go all the way down and it's and really right there yeah Oh, he, Kevin's going to get his flashlight. That'll be good. Okay. Yeah, it's really bad right there. And it's not really supporting much weight. So, I like the gap in the floor, too. That's always good. Oh, that's solid. It's something down there. Okay. Um, so, anyway. And this this door frame, you can see, it was... This is all newer wood. This, this wood around this frame is all fairly new. Um, so... What they're going to have to do is they're, this board up here, these, that board, that board, that, the frame board going across, we can see it exists here, and it's pretty much gone over here. I mean, I don't even see any wood over here. No. Um, it's just right here. So that's gone. Um, if you push on this wall, I can't push it from down here, but this whole wall is loose. Like the plaster is all coming off that wall. The whole thing could. The way it is right now, if you push it hard enough, it would just fall in um, over the other side. The other side, he, they were asking us if the plaster on the other side was bad, and we said, uh, we've never noticed, but we've looked. There's actually a false ceiling there that is under this. So I don't know if it was, uh, they said it could have been that he put that up to uh, cover up the cracking and falling of the plaster. It could have been some other reason. We don't know. So, um, so anyway, that if crack, if plaster is cracking and falling off this, we won't have to worry about it because it's going to fall on that other piece of drywall ceiling anyway. So it's not that big a deal. So they're going to have to, they're going to replace this beam and the two by fours right here. They're going to have to reframe some of this door in right there. And, uh, that's about it. You can see the new wood. I mean, that's brand new. That's just like decorative. That's nothing. That's just like 
that's nothing. Seriously, nothing. Literally nothing at all. This is nothing to do with anything. This is um, just something to have to nail onto this. You can see there's gaps in there, so it's not supporting anything. This is the wood that's actually supporting the weight, and um, it's okay. It's not in great shape, but uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to reframe, or they're going to reframe it, and then I'm going to have to do trim around this and make it look decent because I don't like this flat. I've never liked this flat no. wood wood door anyway. Um, that looks pretty old, actually. Is that gray? It doesn't look as old as that. So at some point in time, that has been redone. You know, you can tell that's newer. Um, at some point in time, this piece has been put back there too. So my guess is when the termites were killed off, when they pulled out the real frame like this, the real door frame, um, they replaced that wood around that frame at that time and then just put this fake frame around it. The bad thing is they didn't fix the main problem, which is that beam. And that beam is a load-bearing beam. I'm talking about this one, right? in the corner, that little one, that one that runs all the way down. That's a load bearing beam for the whole upstairs, goes all the way across. And, um, you know, if it's not supporting weight good, that's dangerous. So, so what they're gonna do is when they fix it, um, they're gonna actually make it more solid from here over and just make this all one solid piece, kind of, they'll replace that. They'll put two up for us from the ground all the way up to there, to, and that beam, that piece of wood up there is in bad shape too, the one right across there. So they're going to re-support that too. So um, it'll be some work. Um, they said they would take care of that. They are going to, once they clean up all this, they're going to, we're going to have the week or so to, well, a week to come in here, run electric, get the plumbing fixed, and then they're going to come back in hopefully next weekend and hang all the drywall up. And uh, We have to put insulation. Yeah, and we're going to put insulation up too and um, on the outside walls and then once we get that they're going to come back in and hang the drywall back up they're going to redo the post this post in the window over there um have you shown the window how rotted it is uh i've sh yeah i think i don't know that i've shown it well yeah, but the, the window's pretty rotted too uh, well you can see half of it's missing right here yeah. and you can see how loose I wouldn't it is pull it back. um but that is going to be they're going to frame that in too and fix all that. That was all termite damage too. You can see the termite tracks down through there. So anyway, that side's pretty decent. It's over here through that board. You can see where the termites came up right through that piece of wood right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, they're going to replace, they're going to, before they hang the drywall, they're going to come in and do that and do the, the wood around the door. And you see where they did the new room um, over there. That's the new electric for the new room. That's where the washer and dryer are in there. Yeah. It's funny they ran the, I don't know what that box is. I don't even think that box, I think that box is covered up. Go on the other side. I don't know if anything is um, I know it is. There's a plate over there. I, I know, know it is, because I've seen it and I wondered why. So that's literally just a junk, they just made a junction box there and hooked that plug in. Yeah, because I, I wondered why there was a plate there on the other side. I'm wondering since I uh, know, I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know why that's there. So, but anyway, so we've got it all down. They just got to clean up, really, more than anything. So that's it for now. And uh, we'll, I'll check back in again. Uh, probably when it's, you next time you see it, it'll probably be cleaned up. Yeah, we probably won't come back in here until it's cleaned up again. Okay, Kevin, what time is it? Two? It is 2.20 and they're gone and they've cleaned up the floor and they even mopped um, and I just want to show you around. There's where the cabinets were and we've had to put this bucket over that hole just like yesterday uh, because the cat will go down under the house and we don't cr want critters to get back up. This is what it looks like where that chimney was and it looks like these are just bricks. It's bricks with just dirt in the middle. Right. Years, so, 100 years worth of chimney dirt. So we will be, uh, I guess, covering that up with plywood of some yeah, sort. Yeah, something. Um, I'm but, hoping he can run the electric line up back through there or something. Or, I don't know, we'll figure but it out. But here's, um, here's the walls. There's the termite damage once again. I already got close up of that, although the lighting might be better yeah, now. If you touch this, I didn't realize, like, watch this, if you touch back in here. Okay, hold on. Uh, can you see it? 
Oh, it'll just fall off. It yeah, it literally it, falls yeah, off. Yeah, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> well, it's not holding up anything. Yeah, so. yeah, but I don't want a mess. They've they've cleaned up the mess. That is that bookshelf in the hall. Yeah, for the back of it. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what that is. No. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is it for today. It will stay like this for the rest of the day. Um, unfortunately, uh, we're not having anything done today, but now tomorrow, um, uh, Kevin's uh, electrician is coming in. And then we made a, an important um, decision. decision about the floor. We had not... Um, discussed the floor or thought about the floor but uh, we talked about it a little bit yesterday and then realized definitely today that we're gonna have to redo this floor so um, there's just no other way around it um, not because of places like this or places like this it's not because of that because we could probably patch that up it's more because of places like this and because when the guys come back to put the drywall, there's always going to be a gap there. Um, we yeah, don't know. We don't know there, why there was ever a gap there anyway. I know that. I think this whole section was added on after though. Not this. This is the back wall. It was the original back wall of the house. I know. I'm saying, would that be why there was that gap? Because I don't know. That, there's a piece of wood down there. You can't see it. But right, it but I'm saying down. because that whole section was added on it, later, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to have to, uh, it, and it goes all the way across here. So we will be um, doing something with this floor. I don't know what yet, but uh, you'll, uh, we'll let you know if you keep watching. So the pug is, uh, I think the pug's just happy to be out of the bedroom. He's been locked in the bedroom all morning. So that's it for today.